Okay, we are reviewing your daily task assessment for 19.2 and your homework and practice right before you take your quiz. And again, we, this is covering the pictographs. The key here is understanding that the symbol represents a certain number, okay? So be very careful because sometimes when we get, if we ignore the key, we're going to look at this and say, well, there's, this is one, two, three, four. And they will give you an answer like that sometimes because they're going to count on some of you to go through this very quickly and forget to look at this. And remember, the symbol also has to be, uh, will sometimes be divided into halves and it'll be half of what the whole symbol represents. And in this case, half of the balloon here, okay, will be five. Five is half of 10. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we're doing here. So we're looking, uh, Landon made balloon animals in the park on Sunday. How many dog balloon animals did Landon make? Well, first we look at each balloon is 10. So we go to dog. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and then we see this half here, and we know that half of 10 is 5, so it'll be 55. That's how we got this one here. The half is very important. It's very important to be able to analyze that and remember. The next one, how many balloon animals did Landon make in all on Sunday? So now you have to prioritize, and the easy way to do it is group it. Group these two, then add it to these two, okay? So these two would be what? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95. And then you add those two, okay? And you would get 150. So you just group them, put them in groups, make it easier for you. Okay. On Monday, Landon made 15 fewer pig balloon animals than he made on Sunday. Okay. How many did he make? 10, 20, 25, 30, 45. Okay. He made 15 fewer pig animals than he made on Sunday. What would a pictograph for the balloon animals be? animals made on Monday's show for pig balloon animals. So he made what? 15 fewer minus 15. So it'll be 10. So it'll only be one and keeping the same value for each balloon. So it'd be one, one balloon. Okay. Good job. Let me just say you guys are doing a tremendous job. Keep it up. How many pictures would you draw if for cat if each balloon equals five well how many pictures would you draw for cat so cat was what 10 20 30 40 so that's 40 if each one equals five it would be eight because eight times five equals 40 so you have to refer back and look at what would your total for cat Let's go ahead and start taking a look at your homework and practice. Okay, first thing you need to do is transfer this information into this table right here. Okay, remembering that each square equals four. So during the recycling day, teams of students collected the materials shown in the table, used the data in the table to make a pictograph, and use this, this is the key you have to use. So take a look at what you did. And make sure it looks like this. 20, if each one is 4, so you would have 5 for the glass bottles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 times 4 is 20. Same thing for plastic bottles. It's 32. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on. 8 times 4 is 32. Okay. So that's what this should look like before we can start answering your questions. So it's asking, how many more plastic bottles were collected than glass bottles? 
plastic bottles. Okay. Well, how many plastic bottles were collected? 32. How many glass bottles? 20. So subtract 20 from 32, and that gives you 12. How many more newspapers were collected than magazines? Well, how many newspapers were collected? 36. How many magazines? 24. So you subtract 24 from 36, and you get 12. Okay, how many newspapers and magazines were collected? Newspapers and magazines, you add these two, get the sum, and your sum is 60. How many plastic and glass bottles were collected? Again, plastic and glass, you add these two ups, and you get 52. So that's all you're doing here. Okay, check this, see how you did. So we're looking at this graph here, pictograph, and understanding that each star equals five animals. I always want to look at this first. I always want this because sometimes, it happens to me a lot sometimes, I tend to, if I go too fast, I will forget and I'll say, well, there's one, two, three cows. And then it'll come back to me, no, 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 it's five, each one's five, so there's actually 15 cows. And then just do the uh, computational Steps. Pictograph shows the number of animals at Mr. DePiro's farm. How many more chickens and ducks does Mr. Piero have? How many more chickens than ducks? Well, you get how many chickens they have, how many ducks, and you subtract those two. And remember, each one equals five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's what? 45. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's 35. Subtract those two, and you get 10. And that's your answer here. Notice how you, the computations that you make are related to the numbers here. So once you get these numbers here, once you figure out each one is 5, the rest is just a simple computation. Suppose Mr. Suppose Mr. DiPero gets 30 pigs. How many star symbols would he use to show them on the pictograph? So 30 pigs, okay, and if each star equals 5, I would divide 30 by 5. So it would have 6 stars. How many animals does Mr. Piero have on his farm? Again, you would have to tally all of them. So this is 15. This is 10. What's that, 25? This was what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 45, it's 10, 70, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 times 5, 35, you add those, and you get 105. And notice what I did, I just took, I went step by step. If you try to put them all, 15, 10, 45, and 35 all in, in one row, one column like that, sometimes it could get a little confusing. So just break it up and do it in do it in sections and you'll be okay. The next one, we're using this key and this one eats rhombus equals three pieces of jewelry. So once we know that, Karen has a table of, of craft fair to sell jewelry. So she's going to sell this jewelry here. Each one, each rhombus equals three pieces of jewelry. So you have necklace, bracelets, rings, and earrings. How many earrings does Karen have to sell? So let's look at earrings. Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And there's each symbol is three, so six times three is 18. Oops. The next one, Karen sells all of her ring bracelets. All of her ring bracelets. Ring bracelets. Karen sells all of the rings and bracelets. All of the rings, these, and bracelets. How many pieces of jewelry does she sell? Well, let's add them up. Three times one, two, three, that's nine. And then the rings, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times three is 27. You add 27 plus nine and you get 36. 36, 27 plus nine. I see what we're doing. The next one, Karen Paris. Pairs up sets of necklaces and bracelets, so these are going to be in pairs. 
how many necklaces will she have left that do not have a matching bracelet? So necklaces that do not have, well, these two match. That's a, these two will, these two, two will not. And each one is three, so two times three equals six. So the, perp the objective of this lesson is to understand that the picture the object here represents another number other than one. And once you have this, the data like you did over here, the rest is just simple computational equations and multi-step word problems. And look at how far you have come since the first quarter when we were working with multi-step questions. Now, at this point, they're like, that's the easy part. It's more natural. So you've learned a lot, and I'm very proud of each and every one of you. I am so proud that you're going to be moving on to the next grade with the skills that you need. And some of you have more advanced skills, so you're going to be able to accomplish more in the next academic school year. So I want to thank you for your attentiveness and good luck on your quiz. And above all, Keep working hard. You all are doing an amazing job. I'm very, very happy to see you all, your growth, and to see you during our live sessions. Thank you again for being such a great class, and we'll see you again soon. For now, this is Mr. Lopez signing off. Good luck on your quiz.